Hey there, wrestling fans. It's Michelle. I'm bringing you episode three of FTW Extras. Let's talk the Flintstone Stone Age Smackdown. So it's been a while since we've seen anything new from the Flintstones. Probably, I think in my mind, over a decade. I'm not sure. But I think this is the first time we've seen the Flintstones and WWE in the same ring together. Fred wants to take Wilma and Pebbles on a vacation to Rockapoka. But in typical Fred style, there's a series of unfortunate events where he ends up with no cash and he has to come up with a harebrained idea to raise some clams after losing his family's vacation money. The plan involves Barney Rubble. Poor old Barney. He's always the one that has to do the dirty work. Defeating CM Punk Rock at a charity boxing match. Seeing an opportunity for a get-rich-quick scheme, Fred invents the sport of professional wrestling. The WWE crowd we find uh, in this movie is Marble Henry, who is hilarious. CM Punk, always the lovable jerk. John Cena... Stone, he's heroic, of course. The Undertaker is grim and scary, with just a dash of silly. Rey Mysterio, quiet and loyal. Daniel Bry, yes. Daniel Bryrock, yes, yes, yes. And the Boulder Twins, hotties who are great at promoting themselves. And last but not least, Vince McMagma has an eye for knowing when biz a business will make a clam or two. He was actually, I enjoyed him a lot during this little less than an hour movie. Uh, he was constantly saying to Fred, I think this will, will is a really great idea. I think this is going to make you a lot of money. I like the Flintstones comeback as a cross promotion with WWE. The Scooby Doo WrestleMania movie was a hit in my mind. I don't know if it was a hit with anybody else. Why not appeal to the younger fans? That is where we're going to, they're going to make their cash anyway with the younger people. So, uh, Triple H and Stephanie, they have three girls, nine, seven, and five, I believe. Why wouldn't they as parents want to bring the old classics back and toss in WWE? Getting your kids to like the cartoons you liked as a kid and throwing in the business to boot is a win-win. If it appeals to one set of parents, it will appeal to lots of parents which means money. WWE, as we know it, is evolving in my mind. It, it, we might as well embrace it, go along for the ride and enjoy it. Look, no matter how much we cry that we want um, the Attitude Era back or we liked it better at this point or that point, the fact is it's not going to be that way again. So it's entertainment. Yabba dabba doo. We're wrestling fans. We don't need to get all uptight about the product being watered down by such endeavors. I say it makes the product more diverse. I think this is a fun cartoon for wrestling fans and cartoon fans. If you want something fun for your kids, your grandkids, or yourself to watch, rent it. Buy it. I bought it and I'm not disappointed. Let me just say here and now that I know Punk is done and long gone and we should speak of him no more, but I loved seeing CM Punk's cartoon self in all his glory in this. Just saying. Now, let me just talk a minute about my complaints. It, the, well, first, I'll give you a, a couple of more positives. Great animation, lots of energy from with the characters, their expressions, their body language, fantastic. But my complaint is the voice casting. Kevin Michael Richardson as Barney's voice is dreadful. Epic, epic fail. Why couldn't he do a better impression of what we've been used to from Barney for the last 55 years? Seriously, I know... None of us are 55. We're all like 19. But you know what I'm saying? 
Kevin Michael Richards is one of the best in the industry. I'm not attempting to bash him, but couldn't he give us the Barney we know and love? I don't know. I wasn't happy with Barney. Uh, you'll probably hear me complain before I'm done again. Mr. Slate's voiced by John O'Hurley sounds sophisticated. How I would not describe Mr. Slate, but still it doesn't upset me as much as Barney. Uh, Betty had a really thick Brooklyn accent. Seemed a little odd to me, but again, Barney was the worst. Did I mention I really didn't like Barney's voice? Um, but you know what? I say watch it. It's a, it was fun. It was entertaining. It doesn't take up a lot of your life under an hour and it's over. And it's just fun to see the wrestlers in animation. It was a good time. So check it out.